Hey, what is going on guys? I am back in front of two trifle boards. Two trifle boards. And what you see in front of you is a Artisan's edition of the original Eastman and Lair Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, fantastic book. Um, I still haven't gone through all of it, but it shows you the artist's editions, the original pencils, um, the original inks, everything. It's just a fantastic um, in the depth look of the original comic books. It just, it's just beautiful. Um, so I, I, again, I wanted to, uh, thank one of my closest friends. Um, you could check out his Instagram. He is a fantastic artist. One of the most talented people I know. He's, um, uh, he is an artist. He is a musician and he's also a wrestler. Uh, check out his Instagram. I'll leave a link um, to his Instagram in the description box, but I'm going to put this in the background um, Because I want you guys to you know if you have a chance check this out It's on Amazon. I just received just received it today. Um, it was a bit of a surprise a very Welcome surprise. It was just it was just a fantastic gift from a, a very uh, a Very genuine person awesome guy so go check out his art on Instagram, it's fantastic. Um, and then also check out his wrestling page. I'm not gonna give up his name, uh, his wrestling name, because it is a bit of a surprise. He is, uh, it's part of his gimmick, so I don't want to mess up his gimmick. So, um, I also have, keeping with that theme, uh, Tales of the TMNT. I'm gonna put this guy in the background, I don't want him to get messed up. He's going to be our background guy. And so I have the 80s Bebop and Rocksteady. Um, and there's a bit of story to this. So Retro Shredder and Krang have transported themselves to modern New Day. Uh, not the New Day. Modern Day New York. But before they can conquer the city, they need to find a trusty henchman. Mentions collide when they when today's Bebop and Rocksteady sign up for the job and put on their retro car counterparts classic villain look to take down the turtles. Really cool. I like the back the back of the box. It has really nice art. Um, gonna try to preserve the back of this uh, card. What I've been doing is I've been collecting the cards as of late, and I think I'm gonna make some bookmarks. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do something with the art, you know, I mean somebody has worked hard on that as they worked hard on this So I think you know that art needs to be uh, Maintained and preserved and uh, kept and art archived, you know, I mean each each person's collection is different and uh, that's uh, That's the same for me, but we're gonna open this guy. Um, look at the the graphic on the side it is the, uh, the 2012 interpretation of the uh, of Bebop and Rocksteady with their classic costumes. One thing I do have to say though that I am a critique of or a critic of is how skinny um, the new Bebop's legs are. I'm not a fan of that. I do like um, a thicker, bulkier Bebop and Rocksteady. Um, I'm not I'm not a fan of the uh, the skinnier version, but it's okay. I can understand, you know um, But this is a this is a really cool figure. I think it's gonna be awesome to keep within this motif of The artisans edition of the turtles so I'm gonna take this off not a bad rip take that there and there are the accursed twist ties. So I'll be right back. All right, so I was able to preserve the back of the card. Um, it's still a beautiful backdrop. Um, the purple and then the backdrop of the buildings in the background, you get the big moon. And then the uh, advertisement of the action figures, you get 80s Rocksteady, 80s Leonardo. 
80s bebop um i'm not sure why they didn't include retro shredder and krang in this particular set i think i would have liked that a lot more um because they are the uh the people driving this storyline but that's okay that's okay so um the figure itself does um it does have me reminisce about a lot of the old elements of the uh the, the original rock study that came out in that the articulation is much like a five point articulated figure from back in the day um they did add uh, a lot more paint apps on this so it is it is much more detailed than the original and that you know there's a lot more paint details a lot more breakup of the uh, the gray um it's there's a there's a lot more minute detail in there uh some things aren't painted if you look at his wrist i mean his uh his hand the back of his hand that's not painted for some odd reason this isn't painted either um and if you look at the little symbols on there i guess what it's trying to imply is these accessories go into his hand um, so they are and the, the grip is a pretty tight so you might have a little bit of a problem putting it in there but you know, put some okay struggle there but let's see here try, try to put them and that seems to be Come on there. That's okay. Wow, got a tight grip. Should have warmed these figures up before I tried to do this. Come on. Come on. Okay. Alright. Alright, so I was trying to get his hammer into his hand. The problem with this is that his grip is so strong and also, the plastic is much stiffer than the weapon. So what the problem herein lies is that when you try to put in a weapon with softer plastic and it just moves around and it bends, it's not strong enough to force its way into that small grip. Um, unfortunately, uh, it just, it, it's just not going to work out. You know, and I almost... I almost uh, I almost broke the uh, the hammer twice. Um, this I didn't have much of a problem um, uh, installing, or not installing, but putting this in his hand. Uh, in that his grip is much wider than that of his left hand. But uh, needless to say, this is a fantastic looking figure that just reminds me a lot of the original figure which I do have um and it, it's just it's nice without the weapons in itself uh the camouflage pants is beautifully painted the boots are really nicely detailed uh the ammo um I don't know what this is called um the gun belt I don't know rem uh, you know just uh let me know in the comments what that is called but that is a nice touch um it's nice that it moves too the spikes on the side are really cool the helmet which is molded on and you could actually take it off okay that is really cool wow you can take this off that is a really cool touch okay so that makes up for not being able to put in the weapons um but this is a really fantastic figure uh and you know this this line is drawing to a close because the show is also coming to a close but i'm glad i have this in my collection as well a newer interpretation of the original be uh not bebop rocksteady fantastic but anyways i'm gonna put this back here in the background and I want to show you guys a few more pictures from this fantastic book that my friend sent me. Um, here, look at 
look at how awesome that shredder looks. Look at the pencils there. That is fantastic. Look at that shredder too. These original panels, they're just so beautifully done. I mean, look at the perspective of the buildings and the cross hatching. Just really nicely done. Look at all that. Fantastic. I'm really happy to have this. This is just an excellent addition to my collection. Um, really happy to have some awesome friends in my life. Uh, you know, we all need some awesome friends, and uh, you know, this is just a manifestation of that friendship. It's just an extension of that friendship. Really cool. Um, really cool to have some nerdy friends in my life. So, this is awesome. It's a good day. Got this awesome book. Got this awesome rock study. Um, fantastic day. I hope you guys are also having a great day and a great weekend. Thanks for watching.